No stranger to the public eye, Olivia Munn has long used her platform to support causes that are close to her heart. And now the actress is sharing a story that's extremely personal in the hopes it will save lives. On Sunday, Munn wore a beautiful gown to the Oscars. But it wasn't long ago she was in a hospital gown recovering from a double mastectomy. The 43-year-old has been undergoing treatment for breast cancer. That may have gone undetected if not for an important test, one that you may not have heard of. Circle of Health reporter Denise Dador has the details right here beautiful, beautiful this moment on the red carpet at this year's Oscars gave Olivia Munn an extra reason to celebrate it may not have happened if she hadn't undergone a risk assessment for breast cancer in February of last year on Instagram the actress says she was being proactive and took a genetic test that looks for 90 different breast cancer genes she says she was negative for BRCA but her OBGYN decided to calculate her breast cancer risk assessment score Two months later, she was diagnosed with an aggressive form. Look for hands, look for your baby. Mun may not carry BRCA1 or 2, or the dozens of other genes known to raise a woman's risk. But doctors remind us there are other genes we can't test for yet. There are other mutations that we're simply not aware of, and other contributing factors that may put one at high risk. Mun then underwent a breast MRI. Doctors diagnosed her with luminal B cancer in both breasts. A fairly aggressive cancer that can grow quickly. Radnet breast radiologist Dr. Jason McKellop is not Munn's doctor, but says the assessment called the Breast Cancer Risk Assessment Score helped the actress and new mom catch it early. Risk stratification certainly contributed to her imaging workup and ultimately her diagnosis. On social media, Munn says she would have been unaware until her next mammogram a year later. Munn's risk assessment score was 37%. Dr. McKellop's patient, Don McCarthy's score was 25%. Anything over 20%, doctors will recommend genetic testing and more specialized imaging, such as a breast MRI. They take into consideration um, your hormones, your age when you first had your period. But there are other contributing factors. Reproductive history, for instance, breastfeeding, uh, smoking history. Dr. McKellop says every woman should ask their doctor about getting their breast cancer risk assessed. But he reminds us that most breast cancer cases are sporadic and often occur in average risk women. Virtually all women, all women should be getting screening mammograms on a yearly basis starting at age 40. Munn underwent a double mastectomy and now 10 months later she wrote she hopes sharing her story will help others find comfort, inspiration and support. Denise Sador, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.